Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan from Game Reactor. We're here at Gamescom 2016 and we're talking about the new Skylanders game called Imaginators. So thank you for talking with us. So first of all, Skylanders is huge and it's been here for a couple of years now. What do you think of the state of the whole franchise right now? Well, seeing toys for life come from absolutely nothing to, to revolutionizing the world of toys and of kids gaming has been tremendous. I mean, it's every developer's dream. And we've worked together uh, for the past six years, actually, on Skylanders. And we're very, very excited to be bringing Imaginators this year because it transforms the idea of toys to life in a way that I think our fans are going to find really exciting. So, yeah, what is, what is new in this one? Wow. Well, <laughs> ever since we released the first game, we've received stacks, thousands of letters from kids around the world and they're all showing us their designs for Skylanders. So what we decided this year, every year we, we come up with some kind of innovation, whether it's Giants or Swap Force or Trap Team. But this year we decided to use the imagination of our fans as our innovation, and we're letting them create their own Skylanders. And that's in the full sense of what a Skylander is, how they look, how they fight, how they talk, what their tagline is, every aspect of their personality. And there are so many different ways to create your own character that we think our fans will be able to create exactly the Skylander they find coolest and most interesting. So the way you do this is you get these creation crystals and there's different kind of uh, types of crystals? Yes, there's ten different kinds of creation crystals. One for each of the elements in Skylanders. Earth, air, fire, water, magic technology, life and the undead. And that's the first choice you make. What element do I want my new Skylander to be? And then after that, you pick what we call its battle class. That's the kind of weapons and attacks that it uses. And that combination of element and battle class determine the initial powers of your character. And then you can start creating how it looks. Its head, its arms, its chest, its legs, the gear it wears, backpacks, hats. And then you get to pick its powers. And finally, you get to pick its voice and special effects, music. Um, you can, right away, you can create the character and go in in just seconds. Or, if you're like me, you can spend a good hour making sure that every detail is right. And of course, as you go through the game, you're uncovering new ways to change your character, new voice options. Um, you know, as you go through the game, you'll get more and more power in creating new characters. So they're kind of collectibles to pick up so you can customize them even more? Yes, I mean, as you go through the game, you'll be finding treasure chests full of what we call Imaginite. And each Imaginite crystal, when it shatters, gives you a new idea. Because really what this year is new in Skylanders is mind magic, which is the power of the player, who's a portal master, to simply visualize something in their mind and have it appear in game. And that's Imaginite is what lets us do that. Yeah, so in what... Uh, what freedom do you have? The, the Skylanders is then um, what tied to the crystal, uh, but you're still able to change it all the way through? Yes, um, once you pick the battle class, then you can change that character, any other aspect of that character, as much as you want. You can alter its appearance, its powers, and you can do it instantly from within any point of the game. But the, the class is locked. Yeah, we, the class is locked. That defines a great deal about how it fights and its weapons that function. Um, and that's the core of the character. So you also added some new characters, the Sensei uh, characters. Can you talk a bit about them? Absolutely. So the idea is that Chaos, our series villain, has discovered mind magic and he is starting to create Doomlanders, these incredibly powerful warriors. And the only way that you're really going to be able to stop him is to create your own Imaginators. And so you gather the crystals, you collect the crystals, and then you begin creating characters inside them. There is so much data and detail that each crystal holds one character. But of course, like all Skylander toys, you can take it to your friend's house, he can have an entirely different console system and you can play it there. And the senseis are the teachers. They're the ones who have come from the corners of Skylands to show you their battle techniques and each sensei you get increases your character's level cap and also provides secret techniques for the same battle class. But I see that some of these uh, new guys here, ah. this, is, uh, this is the bad guy, right? Yeah. This <laughs> is, well, in, it's funny. There's a story here. So 
Chaos is, of course, our series villain, although people seem to love him. But this time, Chaos gets mind magic, and being kind of an arrogant, egotistical, big-headed evil dude, he decides to create the ultimate villain by duplicating himself. Now, of course, the duplicate thinks he's the most evil, wonderful villain of all time, and now they're locked in battle. And so the clone of Chaos is actually fighting on our side against the original Chaos. And this, is, this character actually has all ten battle classes. Of all the senseis, he's the most powerful. And as a special gift, we are giving this away to anyone who pre-orders the game. Cool. But there's also some other familiar characters here, right? Ah. He's not originally in Skylanders, I think. Uh, no, so uh, this is Crash Bandicoot right here, and uh, we've got also Dr. Neo Cortex. So, uh, as you know, as you may know, it's the 20th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot, and uh, we thought this was the perfect year to reintroduce them to a new generation of fans. Uh, for me, this is really special because I love Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I uh, played Crash Bandicoot when I was younger, and, and now that I'm older and have children myself, we can play together, and uh, this is the perfect venue for it, for us to, uh, you know, I can play as Crash or Neo, and my kids can create their own characters and play alongside me, and that's really what Skylanders is about, is bringing families together, playing cooperatively, and it's really fun. Uh, Crash and Neo, they have their own level. It's called the Thump and Wumpa Islands. There's a lot of fun gameplay that is really uh, nostalgic for the player who's played the original Crash Bandicoot games. There's Wumpa fruit you collect, there's crates that you smash and bounce on, and there's even a really cool area in the level that is like the old boulder chase levels where giant boulders are chasing you as you try to briskly get away. So a really cool addition to Skylanders this year. Yeah, really cool. So just to sort of get into the game itself, um, how uh, have you, is there any new aspects of gameplay? Is it the, like we traditionally know it or is there some new aspects we need to know about? Well, we always put, you know, new exciting moments in the game. Um, of course, you're still moving around Skylands, you know, fighting chaos, trying to track down Imaginite. But we've introduced uh, a whole new overworld map that you move around on and you can choose which levels to enter. And in fact, you can fight enemies on the Overland map, you can chase down um, the books of Skylands uh, Academy that has been uh, attacked at the beginning. So you're really trying to fix Skylands, you're trying to explore the map and, and gather enough forces together to stop chaos because as his imagination is developing, he's creating more and more dangerous villains for you to fight, these Doomlanders. And in addition, we have non-combat gameplay, we have a new version of a card game called Creation Clash, um, and tons of surprising bosses and uh, often Mexican food figures into it. Fans will understand. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one thing I often wonder, of course, is how much do I need in order to really experience the game? Well, what comes in the starter kit, and in particular the Sony starter kit, I'll pull this out here. Uh, this is, uh, if you buy it, I'm going to actually let you describe. Sure. So if, if you want to play the uh, Thumpin' Wumpa Islands right away and you want to um, uh, get access to Crash and Neocortex right away, this is definitely the, the way to do it. It's the PS4 starter kit. Um, it has Crash and Neo, access to Thumpin' Wumpa uh, Islands, um, and um, as well as you've got uh, two more senseis and a creation crystal, and they're all... You know, that's five elements right here, so that's a pretty m meaty pack. Uh -huh. You can play from the start of the game to the end of the game with the toys that come in the starter kit. And Skylanders is based upon uh, what the experience of playing with toys is like, which is we want to let people play the way they want to play. So they can play senseis, they can play imaginators, they can actually use every toy we've ever created. They can go from the start to the finish with Spyro the Dragon from the very first game. But of course every single toy this year comes with some new content. So each, for example, sensei not only is an awesome Skylander with these super sky-chi power moves, 
but they also provide creation options for your imaginators, secret techniques, an increased level cap, and each of the senseis also um, opens up a new area, which we call an elemental realm, that all of your characters can explore. So uh, uh, last year you also added vehicles. Will, the, will we be able to use them in uh, this game as well? Absolutely. We've taken all of the racetracks from last year, and this is the, um, all of the bonus content as well, and it's available to play. And we know that some of our fans who are just getting into the game don't have any vehicles yet. So there are starter vehicles for land, sea, and air that you can play right away. But of course, if you have a vehicle collection, you can bring those in and the senseis can drive, the imaginators can drive, and all of your old characters as well. And uh, do you need a new portal to use these? No, we aren't using a new portal this year. Our innovation is entirely in the imaginators and the senseis. So you can buy the starter kit with the portal, or you can get the portal owner's pack and use your old portals. So before we end here, I just want to hear, do you have a favorite among the newer uh, Skylanders? For me, it has to be Chaos. Um, uh, I love him as a character. He's a, a big part of the TV show. And since he has every single battle class, you can play him anywhere in the game. Yeah, for me, I'd, I'd have to go with uh, Dr. Neo Cortex here. He's just, uh, he's got some really fun, uh, powerful moves. He can jump on a ho hoverboard and blast away with his blaster pistol. He's got this giant laser from the sky that you can just wipe out all enemies around you. It's, he's, he's a lot of fun and, and has a really funny personality. It's interesting that we both picked villains. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll tell you something. <laughs> so, and when uh, will we be able to play it and on what platforms? Oh, sure. Well, starting on October 14th throughout Europe, you'll be able to play on the PlayStation 3, 4, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and the Wii U, and in the United States on October 16th. Well, thank you. We're looking forward to it. Thank oh, you very much. Pleasure.